It takes a small event to turn a regular day into a challenging one, overwhelming us all. But there's always a window of hope through which we see and experience care. Care that can go the extra mile. Care that can make a difference. I'm Dr. Madan Mohan. I'm an interventional radiologist and I specialize in neurointerventional procedures, especially stroke interventions. It was one of my routine days. Uh, I get this uh, call from Dr. Meenakshi. I was in Coimbatore and she says about uh, uh, an 80-something patient uh, who has just uh, come to her emergency department uh, with the symptoms of uh, acute stroke. We received this patient who had onset of symptoms, stroke symptoms. She had a dense weakness of her right hand and her leg and she was not able to speak. She also had a gaze preference, what we say. She was looking towards one side. Once we found this, we knew that we were probably handling a larger stroke. By then, the intervention radiologist, Dr. Madan, was informed and he immediately started from Coimbatore. Amma kaam patam udhi me amma teri liye abhi to kaj vai saan naale yosan udhi the amma munga kaal ila chaap torne bedlo kar vichhe na thani ushla lante veli to bond munga ko ito ulla bandhu baat torne thala ila tongko abdiya thango kupta onu paisave ilenga apna ila ninchi kirma kudi pone na doctor sendhil dikhu bande madam munga doctor utru ada munga aur kudi pone na chikirma baat confirma ready bani kila. The patient was shifted for the MRI, the MRI was done. In the MRI room itself, we decided that the patient has to be uh, taken up for thrombectomy. So within one hour, the patient was shifted to the cat lab, the preparation was done and Dr. Madan arrived. The cat lab team here, they prepared the patient uh, and by the time I arrived, the patient was on table and we were ready to go. The angiogram had shown uh, uh, one of her large vessels to be occluded and uh, uh, once the images were confirmed, then the mechanical thrombectomy was done. We had uh, installed the GE Optima IGS 320 in January 2023. Since then, it's been no looking back. We have done a lot of cases exclusive to neurology and uh, neurosurgery. It has revolutionized our stroke care in a three-tire city like Erode. This IGS-320 cath lab has been a workhorse for all my uh, interventional procedures, uh, neuro interventions, peripheral interventions, lung interventions, uh, and even bone biopsies for that matter. This particular IGS-320 system, we have a CT uh, software which shows an aneurysm in a fine granular way which helps us in planning treatment. The procedure was over in say 20 to 30 minutes and uh, despite her old age, she started showing signs of improvement from day 2 and by day 7 to day 10, 90% of her symptoms had gone. Hospitals are not going to be able to get the oxygen. The oxygen is not going to be able to get the oxygen. The oxygen is not going to be able to get the oxygen. The oxygen is not going to be able to get the oxygen. The oxygen is not going to be able to get the oxygen. The oxygen is not going to be able to A stroke is basically a sudden neurological deficit that occurs because of a vascular origin. Either a hand and a leg weakness or it can be just an acute or a sudden onset of a sensory symptoms or it can be a sudden onset of visual loss or sudden onset of difficulty in speech. So any of these symptoms can present as a stroke. Stroke in most instances can be reversed if we act on time. So if you encounter a patient who is suffering from a stroke, it could be your loved ones, it could be a person in your workplace, it could be in a public place, make sure to contact your neurologist on time or a stroke eligible hospital on time.